Hi, I'm Bree Renee. I'm a cosmetologist. I own my own hair company called Rare Hair Extensions, and I specialize in natural quick weaves. <laughs> Growing up was not always easy. Me and my mom did struggle and I knew that's what I did not want to do. So I took the route into changing things on my own, trying to build a legacy for my family so that I wouldn't have to go through the same thing that me and my mom went through. No lights, no water, struggling to pay the bills. Like I just wanted it to be completely different. I knew it was going to be hard. I knew it wouldn't be easy, but I had to make it, you know, I had to make it happen. Whew, the struggle was it's pack hair. It's not like virgin hair or bundles because I specialize in quick weave. So trying to find someone who has pack hair, it's like the market right now is bundles, 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 virgin hair, Indian, Remy, all of that. Um, Brazilian. So I wanted to do something different. I tell my clients to bring pack hair, not bundles. So why would I sell bundles and I don't, you know, push for that. And it was smart because clients are going to go to the beauty supply and they're going to buy pack hair. So if you're coming to me, of course you're gonna buy it from me. Why wouldn't you? Because it's like, bundles is different. You may like how this company is better than this company, but with pack hair, it's all the same. It's like, I'm going after my market. I'm going after what I do. If I just do quick weaves, you're gonna, it's, it's just simple. It's just like that, it's, it's a smart idea. And another thing, with bundles, you know, a lot of people sell it outside of their homes and stuff like that. And with pack hair, it's in the beauty supply. So nothing against people with pack, I mean with bundles, but what if Instagram was to crash today? How are people going to find your company? They can't search it on Instagram versus with pack hair, you can walk right in the beauty supply and it's right there. So you're going to make money either way. I used to get ignored a lot, like just reaching out to other hairstylists. How did you get clients? How do you do this? How do you do that? And people wouldn't, you know, say anything. So it feels good to tell other girls what I didn't know, you know, what nobody would tell me. So. I'm not going to block my blessing because I don't want to tell you what this is or what that is because at the end of the day, what's for you is for you. You can watch me do quick weaves all day, but you know, you have your own way of doing it. I have my own way of doing it. So it's like teaching those girls and they really take heed to it, like to see how happy they are when I'm teaching it to them and telling them, you know, marketing things. And they're asking me things that I used to ask other people and other people wouldn't tell me. So to see them you know, take that advice and start building their own clientele. It's like, it's a real good feeling. Yeah. How do I describe this? It's like, you have to stay in your own lane. Don't look at what anybody else is doing. Don't focus on what anybody else is doing. If somebody came to me and said, hey, where'd you get your dress? I'm gonna tell you because you may not look like I look in the dress. You may look different, you know? You may look better, you may look worse. But I'm not gonna try to not tell you where it is because I'm jealous of how you may look or jealous of how it might go or anything like that. It's just like, you can't be afraid to tell anybody the next thing. You can't. And a lot of people are. And I think it's, that has something to do with competition and envy. And it's like, pass it on to the next person. What do you like? They may do it different than you. You never know. It may be better, it may be worse. But like my clients come to me. It's a lot of people who are better than me. But my clients are going to come to me because they like my mentality, they like my attitude, they like my work, they just like me. They may go to the next person. You just, it's just whatever people like, they're going to come to, whether you're good or whether you're bad. The reason I only do quick weaves is because that's what I specialize in. You know, I perfect it. It takes me an hour to do a quick weave. Your hair could be down to your knees. It'll take me a complete hour to do it. And it's like many people try to do you know, sew-ins, quick weaves, dreads, color, just everything all in one. And it's like, when you try to cram, it's nothing wrong with doing a lot of things, but when you try to cram it all in one, it's kind of like, some people might not like it, some people will. The reason I, I'm always booked off quick weaves is because that's all I do. My clients know they're gonna get a bomb quick weave if they come to me. So it's like, I used to try to do other things and I would mess it up because I, that's how I was in the beginning. Like, oh, let me do dreads mess up let me do color mess up just because you're trying to make that money off of it but people don't realize once you do something that you don't know how to do and they don't like it that's a client you lost they're telling other people oh she can't do this she can't do that it's just kind of like stick it to one thing for me and i've been doing hair for so long i just feel like it's the best it's probably best for me i work smarter not harder that's how i see it
it's a lot different. My mental space, it's like I'm a, I have more of a go-get-it mentality now. You know, then I was comfortable with just doing quick weaves and talking to people, but now, you know, I'm just stretching more. I'm working on trying to open my own beauty supply. And, um, like, I, I live in Cobb County, and it's not, I don't know if it's any black-owned beauty supplies in Cobb County, but I don't think I've seen any. But the twist I want, um, I want to be able to, have virgin hair companies sell their hair in my beauty supply also versus just pack hair. So, you know, it's a lot of good virgin hair companies in Atlanta or everywhere. I want them to be able to, you know, send their stuff to me. You know, people who aren't close to them, they don't want to order it. They can just come in the beauty supply, they can buy it. Um, I want everything in there. I want it to be like a Sally's gel, combs, glue, everything. So, I think definitely, I've been through a lot since then. So, my mentality is definitely like more just go get it. I don't think about it anymore. I just do it. Just whenever an idea comes to my head, I'm jotting it down, I'm writing it down. I'm like, let me just do it. Yeah, so it's changed. Ooh, advice I'll give entrepreneurs now is the same, like I said last time, do it. Um, I'm a very big, I, I think about stuff a lot and sometimes I won't do it. I'll just hesitate like, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that. And then I don't do it. So now I'm like, I don't want them ideas to go to the grave. I want to do it now. You know, leave something behind for my kids, my kids' kids. I just want something to say, okay, she didn't just do hair. She just wasn't on Instagram. She did way more than that. Like, she has a lot to give. And same thing, like I always said last time, credit. <laughs> Get it together now, because it's, oh God, it's not easy at all. I know sometimes I may have bad days, you know, family things happen, issues happen, but the vibe that you have feeds off to your clients. Never bring what you have going on home to your workplace. Clients catch on to that energy. You can be the best hairstylist in the world, but if your energy isn't good, they're not going to come back at all. Like, you, you can't bring that there. You can't talk about what you have going on. Let clients talk to you. I let my clients talk to me. You know, they tell me what they have going on. Even if I'm having a bad day and a client is having a worse day, it's like, I'm here to listen to you. I'm here to make you comfortable because I want you to come back. You know, it's like, you just can't. Like, that's like if you work at Walmart and you're mad and you're angry, they're going to send you home for the day because, or they might even fire you. You can't bring that type of energy to your workplace at all. You just, and it's days where I'm just out of it completely and I'm just like, oh my God, I don't want to be here. But when a client walk in, it's like, you got to smile. You got to put a smile on your face. You got to give them your all or don't do it at all. Yeah. I am Brie Renee and I'm young and great.